Bill Gates. He's rich, he's brilliant, and apparently he's out of his mind. This is a container of human feces. Why is one of the richest men in the world carrying a jar of his own shit? I went to Seattle to find out what's wrong with Bill Gates. Mr. Gates, it's a huge honor to meet you. Just a quick question. What the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. Love what I'm doing. Okay, so why are you carrying around your own poop in a jar? Well, I did uh, have a beaker of human feces when I was explaining why we need a, a reinvented toilet. You don't need to reinvent a toilet. We shit in it, then we push a button, then the shit disappears. It's perfect. Well, toilets are something we take for granted, but billions of people don't have them. Even in these growing cities and poor countries, they can't afford to build sewers, and that causes diseases. And so we have to come up with a very different way of taking care of that waste. And because so much of the world lacks a sanitary place to poo, Bill launched the Reinvent the Toilet Challenge. It funds scientists to redesign toilets that don't need a sewer system. We put several hundred million into this uh, to show that it can be done. Wait, sorry, hang on. You put several hundred million dollars into toilets? Giving it away, you bet. Oh my God. Is Bill Gates literally flushing his fortune down the toilet? To find out, I flew all the way to University of South Florida, where Professor Daniel Ye and his team are using Gates funding to make some sort of magic poop box. So what we have here uh, essentially is a miniature version of the wastewater treatment plant, and we can put this anywhere in the world. In the bioreactor, we have microorganisms. They uh, eat the poop and turn it into clean water. Okay, why do the microbes eat the poop? The microbes eat the poop because that's what they do. Did you ask them? If they want to do that? Well... Uh, yeah, why don't you give them a muffin or something? Maybe they like a muffin. Uh, okay, I'll make a note of that, but um, when you show them the poop, they love it. Despite his crazy talk, there's just something about this guy. I don't know what it is, but I trust him. So I decided to give his machine a try. So normally uh, we will have a block of toilets, right? And then the uh, waste from the toilets would come here, it'll go into the machine, and then using solar power, we can turn the poopy water into clean water. So you stand by this? Yeah. Or I'll prove it. Okay. Did it work? Yeah. Well, how many times did it not work and you end up drinking your own shit? <laughs> Well, it's worked so well that uh, we're actually working with NASA. Astronauts have to poop, and we can turn that poop into clean water and nutrients and even energy. Wait, do you say energy? Yeah. The uh, microbes in the bioreactor make methane. That's the same stuff that's in natural gas. You can burn it. Bill Gates, you sneaky bastard. You just found a filthy little back door into the most profitable industry in the world, energy. You didn't say anything about energy. Yeah, it's one way to make it cheap to process the sewage, is to sell these outputs. You should open with that next time. Don't open with the saving the world, kids, and disease thing. Open with, yo, we're making toilets that can convert shit into energy. We need to make these toilets as expensive as possible. Because based on my research, everyone poops. <laughs> I mean, everybody. Well, unless we make them super cheap, they're not going to get out to the poorest who need them the most. Look, I know you've made your money. Some of us here are still trying to win this game. Well, if you have an idea, let us know. I've got nothing but ideas for this. OK. So this is an iPad. <laughs> Great device. I love using it. Hey, um, hey, yeah. So what's the worst seat on the plane? Next to the toilet. But what if every seat <laughs> was a toilet? Poop-powered planes. <laughs> to keep the plane in motion, we have to keep shitting. High pressure, I know, but it gives the airlines incentive to feed us. I'm not sure the numbers work. How about this? It's a toilet that you shit in, and it powers a cannon that shoots the shit out to my neighbor's house. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's not legal. Listen, man, I'm up here just trying to come up with ideas here to save the world. Okay, what are you doing? Um, that's what I'm doing. No, that's what I'm doing. I'm here giving you ideas. All you're doing is shitting on them. Well, I don't mean... Those ideas are, are ready yet. But we do have a lot of ideas. 
that are in the field uh, being tested in Durban. It's trying to cover the 30% of their residents that don't have uh, great sewage processing. We are gonna completely change the future. Everybody's gonna have a great toilet. Well, here's to everyone having a great toilet. <laughs> Cheers. <sighs> Not bad. Now guess where that came from? <laughs> you just drank my shit. How's it taste? That's a very successful process there. It, it tasted like normal water. Good job. Thank you, Bill. There's more where that came from. <laughs>